Hi and very welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money and I'm a little bit stressed. I had time because I was waiting for my husband uh, but now he's there and I parked a car right next to me so yeah I have to stop filming my intro. We are going to the city today doing a little TJ Maxx shopping so come with me. Sorry for this weird intro. I wasn't very well prepared and I got into a little time struggle when my husband appeared earlier than expected. Little fun fact, TJ Maxx in Germany is called TK Maxx but it's the exact same concept and they belong together so don't be confused by the name. My shopping trip started off very well with different sweaters from Cavalli Class which is a diffusion brand from Roberto Cavalli. This beige one was 60 instead of 186 euros. I really like that black one with the punter and the flowers, but I kept on watching first. This black one was 50 euro instead of 150. So even though these Cavalli sweaters all were kind of the same vibe material and cut, the price points were different. The Panthers one did cost 50 euro at TJ Maxx as well, but regular retail would have been 288 euro. Whilst the bright purple one with leopard print was 50 euro, but regular retail only only 150. I kept looking around and spotted a brand I personally do like a lot, Karl Lagerfeld. The pink sweater was 45 euro instead of 175. Same price point for the same sweater in black, but it's always worth checking because TJ Maxx sometimes makes their prices crazy. This completely black one was 65 euro instead of nearly 200. If you ask me, the prices for Karl Lagerfeld at TJ Maxx were even better than they are at the outlet. Another piece that caught my eye was this sweater by a brand called Each Other. I don't know the brand but it felt really high quality to me. It was 60 euro instead of nearly 200. They did have another sweater from the same brand in bright green. If you know Each Other Paris let me know what you think of that brand because I never heard of it before. If you want to shop cosmetics at TJ Maxx you need quite good nerves because it can get messy. Nonetheless I always at least check what they do have. Here you see all the items that have been been marked down but who wants to buy cosmetics that are already that used in store. But you can be lucky as well. Every now and then you find items that are still sealed. For example, I did already find Yves Saint Laurent and Dior cosmetics at incredible prices. But looks as if today the best find would be this Venus XL Lime Crime eyeshadow palette for 25 euro or this The Balm palette for 18 euro. I kept on looking a little bit longer but today there wasn't anything at the cosmetics section that caught my eye and Today definitely no Dior or Yves Saint Laurent. Let me know down in the comments where you live and if there is sold the brand Art Deco because I personally like that makeup brand quite a lot. My next stop was the jewelry counter and they had quite a big section of just Cavalli pieces which is yet another diffusion line from Roberto Cavalli. Most pieces were between 25 to 30 euro except that snake bracelet it was only 11 euro but unfortunately it was missing a stone. My jewelry highlight definitely were the pieces from Coach. Earrings were 40 euro and little bracelets were 65. Unfortunately I had no idea what these pieces cost regular retail. Look what we have here hidden by the jewelry. A Chloe mini sea bag in yellow for 700 euro instead of 1300. Please let me know if you think that is a good price and if I should consider the bag. It does have a crossbody strap as well. In the showcases they had a bunch of Michael Kors watches as well. Most of them were around 150 euro but they didn't have any luxurious watches this time. From the toiletries we go on to wallets and SLGs. It is possible to find gems but most of the times it's a lot of cheap stuff or some contemporary brand pieces if you're even lucky. This wallet was 25 euro but I don't know the brand. If you're interested such a big DKNY wallet would have been 40 euro. They did have quite some variations and color combinations of that continental wallet. A piece that got me quite tempted, this coach wristlet in a beautiful lilac color. It was 40 euro instead of 95. With a lot of imagination this Laura Ashley bag could remind one of Dior. It was 35 euro but unfortunately
unfortunately no real leather. A bag that really spoke to me quality-wise was this Crossbody Ralph Lauren for $99.99. Unfortunately, there was no regular retail price written on the label. And if I'm honest to myself, probably it would be a tad too small for me. Another great find, this Kurt Geiger bag in real leather for 120 euro instead of 255. You might know that I'm a big Kurt Geiger fan, but I didn't like the ruthenium hardware with the beige color of the leather. Nonetheless, of course, I at least had to try that bag on. The size would work perfectly for me. I was wearing my Tweed Kurt Geiger Kensington bag that day. Don't worry, it looks a little bit out of shape in these recordings because I squeezed my umbrella into the bag. I think I never found a great belt at TJ Maxx. This one was giving Louis Vuitton vibes, but I guess we all know you won't find that brand at TJ Maxx. Do you remember the times when Michael Kors was super hyped? Well, at least we had that hype phase in Germany, but that's years ago. The belts now were only 30 euro. These are some final sale bags and I'm going downstairs where there is more clothing, shoes and home decor. To note here, this TJ Maxx location is in a small town and that reflects as well on the items and brands they get. You sometimes can find designer pieces, but they are rare. This DKNY wool coat still had American tags, $400 and the TJ Maxx price was $100. The next piece I'm going to show you is on the louder side. This embroidered jacket is from a Spanish brand called De Sequel and the price was 50 instead of 180 euro. Here you get an overview over the shoe section. I spotted these boots with pearls that reminded me of my Zara combat boots that I love like crazy, but just by touching them they felt really cheap and when I checked the price point I was right, they were only 17 euro. Something looked fluffy so I wanted to touch it. These slides were from the brand Flip Flop and the TJ Maxx price was 25 euro. Next thing I spotted were these edgy rubber combat boots. I don't know what is the actual term for these kind of shoes. They reminded me of Balenciaga but when I checked the label they were only 50 euro instead of 105 and the brand is called Azare. No idea how to pronounce it. I've never heard of that brand before. They did have an entire shelf with Love Moschino shoes. These red Wellington boots boots were 50 instead of nearly 150 euro and the sneakers were 80 instead of 250. I always do check the Zara shoes at TJ Maxx as well. They are very affordable to begin with but even cheaper at TJ Maxx. These pumps were 15 euro. Quite often I do discover new brands that I never heard of before like these ones in an amazing color from a brand called Chocolat, a little pun like chocolate. They were 40 instead of 100 and felt very very high quality to me. When I spotted this dress, it immediately was giving me Gucci vibes. It was from Massimo Dutti. Unfortunately, they did cover the regular retail price, but the TJ Maxx price was 35 euro. Absolutely my aesthetic. I don't know why I didn't try it on. The next piece that caught my attention was a Zara one as well. This shiny vinyl jacket was only 13 euro. I'm sure at Zara it was at least 40, but I didn't like the look on me at all. And probably I would not even have been able to close it. Well, let's blame it on my jumper. This is the one scene I was able to make my husband film, but I'm not sure if he will ever be a camera, Instagram, YouTube hubby. But at least he tried whilst I was browsing the sales section. For 30 instead of 110 you could get this Country Vibes French Connection dress, which is quite a popular contemporary brand here in Germany. I like that white dress for 32 euro, but I never heard heard of Julia Jordan before. Do you know the brand? A brand that I do know very well and that is on the higher priced contemporary side as well is Twinset. This was an interesting dress for 29 euro instead of 170. Of course at that price point it was only fake leather. I held it to my body but it was an extra small so I didn't see a point in trying it on. This black and white polka dot dress is from a brand called Noa Noa. Regular retail would have been 130. 30 euro and the TJ Maxx price was 50. Somehow cute was this pink flowery shirt on sale for only 7 euro. I liked the zipper on the back but I was too lazy to try it on. This pink Vela Juicy Couture tracksuit jacket for 40 euro was giving me 2000s nostalgia vibes. 
Finally, a full body shot of my outfit of the day with my Kurt Geiger Kensington bag whilst I was waiting for my husband to try on stuff. Here he is shaking his booty for you, but we didn't like the white trousers too much on him, but he did buy that green jacket shirt. It's not a special brand, but his favorite color. Cozy Polo Ralph Lauren carpet slippers were 50 euro instead of 80 and they did have different sizes as well as different styles. Next stop was the home section. For those who do watch my videos regularly, does this lamp remind you of something? It looks very similar to the one that is in the background of my living room when I film videos at home. But our lamp, except the lamp shade, is a real vintage piece from my house husband's grandma. TJ Maxx does offer beautiful furniture every now and then and sometimes even designer pieces but I always wonder who buys them because the spot is very central in the city and it's hard to go there by car. How do people transport their TJ Maxx furniture to their home? For sure it's easier with decor. This pom-pom thingy was 9 euro. They always offer a ton of decor bits and pieces in different styles, different price ranges and it's a great place to find find gifts as well. This monkey candle holder was 23 euro and my sister would like it a lot. From the super random bits and pieces we go on to an area where there are the candles. I'm not that much of a candle expert. To me expensive candles feel like burning money. The Yankee candle was 13 euro instead of 18 euro. No idea if that's a good price. I like to look at candles. I like to smell candles. I like to gift candles to other people but there's definitely a limit of what I'm willing to pay for a candle so TJ Maxx is really a great place to stack up on candles because they are always cheaper than regular retail. And since I have no idea what I search for in a candle it's even easier for me because I can browse the sales section and then they are even cheaper. This candle was 7 euro and the name was Joyce of Australia so I wanted to smell it and think of my friend this is Danny O here on YouTube because she lives in Australia. This candle spoke to me because of the packaging. It was reduced to 12 euro. I felt like as if it might be an expensive brand, but I never heard of Markus Lupfer. To me, it smelled kind of boring and the regular retail price would have been nearly 50 euro. But since the scent didn't hook me, I wasn't interested in the Markus Lupfer diffuser neither, which was only 7 euro. There was another kind, Joyce of Australia candle for 5 euro. I smelled that one as well but it was quite boring as well. For 11 euro instead of 25 I spotted a candle that promised to smell like laundry. Call me completely crazy but this Hope candle container kind of reminded me of the candles Gucci does offer. The brand is called Ray Dunn and it was 12 euro instead of 40. Some of you might know that I love lemons especially the looks but the scent as well. This candle was 16 euro and got me super tempted just for the lid of the container. This is a card I would send to Styled by Gwenny or Don Loves Couture. I always check the cards at TJ Maxx as well because they have such a wide selection of different ones from different brands. And here the lemons caught me yet again for gift wrapping. What a weird clip to finish off my TJ Maxx shopping vlog. I didn't buy anything at all, my husband just the green shirt. Thank you so much for watching, hope to see you next time and bye!